Hey guys, I'm back with a pet haul for you. These are some of my favorite haul videos to watch. Um, I love seeing what people get for their pets because it gives me ideas of things that I could do for mine or, you know, just fun toys that are out that I haven't heard about yet. So I've got stuff from a couple different places. I went to PetSmart. Um, I checked out a new store in the area, and when I get to that store, I'll explain it to you. And then um, TJ Maxx. So I'll start with a couple things I got from PetSmart. I picked these up for Valentine's Day, but I ended up giving them to the dogs early because we had a snow day and I didn't want them to be bored. Um, I picked up some Care Bear toys. So this first one here, I'm not sure what this one is called, but these are actually um, made all, like just like the ones we had when we were kids. If you if you grew up in like the 80s or 90s, you know what I'm talking about. They've got the little logo on the butt, you know, okay? So I got this for my girl, and her name is Macy. Um, her favorite color is purple, so I thought she really didn't care for it, to be honest with you. She's got one toy that she plays with. She's played with since she was a puppy. Anytime you give her something new, she'll look at it. She'll play with it maybe for 30 seconds, and then she'll go back to her favorite. Um, my boy dog, on the other hand, he will play with anything you give him. So I got him this, because he loves the toys that are shaped like balls. Um, a while ago at PetSmart, they came out with the Marvel ones. They had like Iron Man, Spider-Man, Batman. We bought the entire line of the round ones, because that's his favorite thing to play with. So this one's Good Luck Bear. It's got the little heart on it. Now, uh, my dogs are chihuahuas, and this is a fine size for him. It's perfect. I've got two more in the mail on the way once I realized how much he loved this. We ordered Grumpy Bear, which is like a pale blue with this thunderstorm here. And then the pale pink one with the rainbow. I don't know what it's called, but we've got that one coming too. The next place we went to was the local pet store I was telling you about. It's in Lafayette, New Jersey, and it's called Living Positively. And it's Basically, it's a pet store that only carries, like, healthy stuff. They don't have any of, like, the Alpo or the Purina or the grocery-type brands. Um, we've been feeding Wellness, which is a good brand, and I've been feeding it for about seven years, and I was thrilled with it. But lately, we've been getting a lot of bone pieces in the cans. We do the chicken and sweet potato, the purple can, and it's been going on for, like, two months, and it's gotten me worried, so we're going to try switching foods. So we picked up oh, heavy. the Honest Kitchen to try. This is a dehydrated food, so basically you measure it out and you add the water and it sits for a couple minutes and then it's ready to go. But it gets great reviews online. The people in the store said that this is the one that their customers really like out of all the dehydrated foods. And most importantly, it's got the same type of formula as what we were feeding, chicken and sweet potato. I don't want to change it up too much because Macy's got a sensitive stomach. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it's good because it wasn't cheap. But, I mean, it will last forever. This is like a 10-pound box. So this will probably last us like at least three months. They're both chihuahuas, by the way. <laughs> All right. Also at that store, I picked up some of these mini Kong tennis balls. There were three in here. I already gave them each one to play with. This was $3.99 for the set of three. And uh, I thought for being the Kong brand and they squeak, that was a really good price. We got them some of that. And then I ran out of shampoo. I was using Tropiclean, which I liked. I picked up at our groomer. But I thought I would try something new since we were there. And they have all these ones without sulfites and parabens and things. So I got this one. It's called Organic Shea Butter Shampoo. It's by Shea Pet. And this bottle was $15.99, but they were having a 10% off today. So, But let's see. Basically, it's water and coconut oil and other oils, oatmeal, so it'll be good for their skin and it won't be drying. And let's see. You can use it full strength or dilute it. So this should also last a really long time, especially if you dilute it. 
and I only bathe them like once every month, every other month, depending if they get dirty. Normally they don't, but I like them to smell fresh and I like, you know, it helps get the shedding hair out. Then I picked up some random treats. They have a Three Dog Bakery biscuit bar there, and Three Dog Bakery uses like, you know, all natural, like, human grade ingredients and, uh, you know, none of the, the bad stuff that's going to get recalled or make your dog sick. So we got a bunch of different kinds. There's spearmint bones. There's, uh, we got these in both applesauce and in peanut butter. There's, uh, green veggie ones. There's salmon. There's cheese. There's turkey. Basically, I just put a little bit of everything. And this is my own container. I just got them in a bag there. But these containers come from Walmart. They're really cheap. And I like that they seal airtight. And these come from a biscuit bar, um, it's six ninety nine a pound. So I I don't honestly know how much this weighed out to because I wasn't paying attention. I just wanted to get a bunch of different ones, but I can't have more than a half a pound of here. So that's a really good price for that. All right, the last thing that I picked up at that store is these packets from the Honest Kitchen, and they are called Steamy Pups and Ice Pups. They're depending on how you make it. Basically what it is, it's a broth, and it's got dehydrated chicken, turkey, whey, dandelion, asparagus, watercress, honey, and parsley. Um, now, they recommend you just making it kind of like a cup of tea and letting your dog drink it, or make it ice cubes. I got this because I have a lot of treat recipes and a gelatin recipe that call for chicken broth, and it's nearly impossible to find a chicken broth in the grocery store that doesn't have onion powder or onion of some sort or too much salt. I have spent a lot of time looking and I haven't found anything that would meet up to my standards yet. So I'm going to use this as a chicken broth for my recipes. And I have a dry treat recipe to make this with. And then I stopped at shop right on the way and I picked up some just unflavored gelatin because I had a recipe I got out of Modern Dog to make jello treats for dogs. You use chicken broth and gelatin and a couple other things in it. And I thought that would be something cool to try because that's a texture they've never had. It might be neat for them. So we're going to try that and see how it goes. And then the last thing I've got is I stopped at TJ Maxx when I picked up some nail polish. I also picked up two more bags of these treats. The Fruitables. Skinny Minis, and um, in my other haul video, I showed that I got a bag of these before, and at TJ Maxx, these are only $2.99. They're much more when you get them at the store. I think I've paid up to like $8 a bag, so anywhere 8 or less, you can usually get them for TJ Maxx right now. Great deals. Um, and this one is pumpkin and berry. Pumpkin and it's blueberry and cinnamon. And this one is bacon, apple, and sweet potato. And these are really small treats, so they're great for small dogs. I mean, they'd be great for a big dog, too, as like a training treat. But they're only about that big. I would say like the size of a dime. Each treat is only three and a half calories, and they're easy to break because they're soft. So they're easy to use for like agility and stuff because you don't want to use crunchy treats. So the dog's going to be there trying to break apart and falling all over the floor in crumbs. You want to have like a high-value treat that's soft, that's easy to swallow. And I'm not much for using hot dogs or things like that, so this works great. You just break them up into tiny pieces and you're good to go. And then, uh, I don't know if you noticed behind me, I spent all day yesterday up here organizing this as my dog's playroom. So if you want to see a tour of it, maybe I'll do that in another video. But uh, that's it for the dog haul. Thanks for watching.